To prove that k is equal to 1, what we are going to do is to try to find the equation of the normal to the curve at a point p. Because for this equation of the normal, it is going to carry k. And at the same time, this equation, this line is going to pass through the point n. So we can actually substitute the coordinates of n into the equation. And hence, k will be the only unknown. We will be able to solve for k. And hopefully, k is going to be equal to 1, which we are supposed to prove. So let's try to find dy dx for the graph, for the curve first. Let me rewrite the equation as 2 times 7 minus 3x to the power of half, which means that from here, dy dx is going to be 2 times half. I will bring it forward. So this 7 minus 3x to the power of minus half, applying the chain rule, this will be minus 3. And this is going to be equal to negative 3 over square root of 7 minus 3x. And then we can try to find the equation of the normal at the point P. At point P, x is equal to k, which means that dy dx, which is expressed in terms of x, is going to be negative 3 over square root of 7 minus 3k, which means that we can then find the equation of the normal at the point P because it passes through this point so we will just need to take y minus the y coordinate which is 2 square root of 7 minus 3k is going to be equal to the gradient gradient is negative 1 over this which means that we will have the gradient of the normal as positive 7 square root of 7 minus 3k divided by 3 then x minus the x coordinate which is k and since it passes through the point negative uh, negative 5, 0 at the point n. So for this equation at the point n, x is going to be equal to negative 5, y is going to be equal to 0. So 0 minus 2 square root of 7 minus 3k is equal to square root of 7 minus 3k divided by 3. x, I'm going to replace it by minus 5. So minus 5 minus k. If I were to take out negative, I will have a negative 2 here because 0, it will disappear. So 7 minus 3k is negative square root of 7 minus 3k divided by 3. And here we have a 5 plus k, which means that 7, square root of 7 minus 3k, negative square root of 7 minus 3k and negative square root of 7 minus 3k can be cancelled. So on the left hand side, we have a 2. On the right hand side, I have a 1 over 3 of 5 plus k, a simple equation. So the, I multiply it across to the other side, I have this. And hence, we show that k is equal to 1.